All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing out there? Let's get this playoff preview, prediction, breakdown, all that for this last series here. I mean, I had to wait this thing out because we just found out a day or two ago, it would be the Denver Nuggets taking on the Portland Trailblazers as the Denver Nuggets got rid of the San Antonio Spurs in a tough seven game series. I'm gonna be honest with you, this series is super confusing. You look at the regular season, Denver got three out of four against the Portland Trailblazers. Now, CJ McCullough missed a game or so. There was some people missing in and out of the lineups in this regular season affairs. They played two times in like the last week or two in the regular season and they split it 1-1, right? So Denver won the regular season, but you look at the postseason, you would tend to believe that the Portland Trailblazers look better. It didn't take them as many games. Oklahoma City Thunders got the two all-star caliber players and Russell Westbrook and Paul George and the Portland Trailblazers got rid of them in five games. San Antonio's got some older, more veteran savvy guys, better head coach in Popovich, but it took the Denver Nuggets seven games to beat them, right? So you look at it, it's like some ups and downs of each one of their first round matchups. So I'll just wash it out because you can just play that game all day. And I'll tell you what my heart tells me. My heart tells me that Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum are probably going to come out in game one and get hit in the mouth. They've been bragging. CJ McCollum's been doing podcasts on their game one win, or excuse me, their game five win. And dane has been doing interviews every which way. His brand has been through the roof over the last few days. And I get it. You had some downtime, but it's still the playoffs. All right. I think they're going to get hit in the mouth in game one. I think Denver's going to get them pretty good. But after that, I think the Portland Trailblazers will win this series on their home court in six games. This series could go up and down. I probably could be way off about this series. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody swept somebody. Look, bottom line is Denver and Portland have a easy, if I'm pretty sure both these guys are looking at it like, yo, we could be playing Golden State in this round. We could be the Houston Rockets right now playing, Houston, uh, playing Golden State. So either I'm sure both these teams are like, yo, we got a nice little way to the conference finals here. And I feel like both teams probably feel good about their chances. Here's my X factor for each team in this series. For the Portland Trailblazers, Anis Cantor. Not sure if he's going to give it a go. He said he's questionable for the entire series, which would make me believe that he's going to at least miss game one or game two. Got some shoulder issues. If he doesn't play, that's going to be bad news for the Portland Trailblazers. Reason being, he's not a good defender. He's one of the worst actually big defenders in the league by the stats, but he can score offensively. And one thing he does do is put pressure on a guy like Jokic. If, or Jokic or Jokic, they've been clowning me in the comment box. If Jokic is not having to exert a lot of de uh, energy on defense, he might run wild on offense. So you need Cantor on the floor to at least put a little bit of pressure on Jokic and make him defend the basketball. That's my X factor, because Jokic ain't the best defender either. So if Cantor does play, he can score all day. All right? I'm just throwing it out there. Other side here for the for the uh, Denver Nuggets. My X Factor, I'm calling out Will Barton, man. Look, midway through that series, Mike Malone replaced Will Barton in that starting lineup for Craig. Let me just make this clear. Will Barton is somebody that I watched play basketball at the University of Memphis. Got a lot of love for him out of Baltimore. I've interviewed his brother a couple times, Antonio Barton. Went to the same college as him. Look, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Will Barton got paid last summer, and that does not look like the hungry, thrill ball player that I'm used to. It looked like he got paid and got fat. And I don't mean that literally. I just mean mentally. Like, he don't look like the same player that was hungry, grinding for that contract that the Denver Nuggets gave him last summer. That ain't what I'm bragging on. Like, Will Barton's one of my favorite players in the league up until this year. I always brag on him. And I ain't been able to do that this year to, to the point where he can't replace out the lineup. He need to get it together and focus in. I'm calling you out, Will Bard. This should be a series that Will Barton or Gary Harris should dominate. Jamal Murray is going to get his. We know Jokic is going to get his. Dane, CJ, they're going to have to offset a couple of those guys over there in Denver. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, Portland doesn't have enough hoopers to compete with Denver. Denver's got more ball players Like Be Beasley, Malik Beasley. These guys can play. Craig can play like... Will Barton could used to play. Like, I need to see some of him. I'm calling him out in this series. He needs to be an X-Factor. Again, six games is what I believe is going. 
I think Damian Lillard at the end of the day could use a conference finals appearance on his very, still very young NBA career. CJ McCollum is a problem to handle. And I expect the Portland Trailblazers to close this thing out in six games on their home court. You please tell me in the comment box below, who do you have winning this oh so very random Western Conference semi matchup? What y'all got in the comment box below? I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the coach. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV? Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.